I am delighted to be joined by Jamie Leverton, the CEO of Hut8. How are you doing today? I am fantastic. It's great to be here. Well, we're lucky to come over and uh, hang out with the Toronto crowd. It's our first time. So. <laughs> oh, welcome. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. We've done the Seattle, we've done Montreal and a bunch of other places uh, around this area, but usually we're London based. Okay. So it's always a good to go out and stretch our legs. Indeed. Well, welcome. But folks who maybe aren't familiar with Hut8 and what you folks do, do tell us what you're all about. Yeah, absolutely. So Hut8 uh, started originally as a, one of the oldest and largest publicly traded Bitcoin mining companies um, back in 2000 and early 2018 and we've evolved uh, quite significantly over the last number of years uh, we, we still mine Bitcoin as well as ethereum uh, but we've also purchased a data center business so we have five data centers across Canada two in Toronto two in Vancouver one in Kelowna uh, that supports uh, 400 enterprise customers, and we're building out some really unique uh, products and services to cater to the Web3 burgeoning ecosystem. So when folks come to you and they're looking for your services, I imagine it's a little bit more compli complicated than, hey, could you mine some Bitcoin for me? <laughs> What's the kind of thing that they're actually asking you to provide and what do you provide? Yeah, we, quite often, particularly since we purchased the, the data center business, which has co-location, cloud, managed service offerings in it, uh, we'll get people calling asking if they can host Bitcoin servers in our, in our data centers, which is just something that you can't do. You would never run the type of compute that's used to mine Bitcoin in a traditional data center environment. Um, there, we have three mining sites, but they're really purpose-built to mine Bitcoin. They don't do anything else, and, and we don't intermix our data center business with our Bitcoin mining business. Gotcha. Now, you mentioned that you know, you've been around since 2018, which I guess in the Bitcoin world is a lifetime. <laughs> it is know, indeed. Still a very nascent <laughs> sector, and one that's, uh, you know, can be volatile at times. We've noticed a bit of a downturn of late and naturally that can lead to a lot of doomsaying from people. How do you folks ensure that you see this as kind of an opportunity or something that can be you know, turned into something positive rather than negative? How do you react to it? Yeah, I, we, uh, having been around for a number of market cycles now in the crypto space, as a company, we really focused last year during the bull market on preparing our strategy so that it uh, it was well equipped should market conditions change, which obviously they now have. Um, so we do have a diversified business model. We have a very large amount of Bitcoin on our balance sheet, a very robust balance sheet. Um, and this market we're actually really excited about because it allows us to, uh, to focus on building the products and, and services that uh, that we are in the data center space. So it actually, it's a, a bear market provides a great opportunity to focus on on the foundation, on building, on getting ready for the for the next hectic market cycle. Mm -hmm. um, and we we were lucky enough to put the right pieces in place that we have great work that we can focus on right now. What's the most common misconception you think people have about not just your services, but the market in general. Like, because from an outsider's perspective, we can people can get the idea of like, oh, it's digital currency. Like maybe your your parents or your folks can get their heads around that. But when people start talking about you know NFTs and these, these in, in some cases living NFTs, we've been speaking to people here, which right. is a level above. It can all sound a little bit like abstract. You know, they see a bored ape, they go, is that, what? I don't know what this even is. Like, how do you, first of all, explain that stuff to people in a way that is understandable and accessible and, and makes sense? And then how do you make them see the value in what it is that you offer? Yeah, I think it really, you, you kind of have to start at the beginning. If you, if you enter the crypto space at the metaverse level and you haven't yet understood the foundation of Bitcoin or blockchain, um, I think it's important to take it take it all the way down and, and teach them about how Bitcoin was born, what Bitcoin solves for, how Bitcoin's different from the other many types of cryptocurrencies or, or blockchain projects out there. And then when we get into to the NFT space, we're really talking about uh, digital property rights, which I think it's still very, very early days of where that industry is ultimately going to evolve to. And I think um, I think it's it's will continue to be a huge area of investment and focus in the technology space going forward. It's really the next generation of the internet that's being built right now. Mm. 
What's the most common mistake that you see within your sector when maybe, without naming names obviously, but I'm sure you've seen people who maybe haven't been able to survive the downturn perhaps as well as you guys have. So what's the, what's the mistake which you've been able to avoid, I guess? Well, his, historically we see um, people deploying uh, capital at the wrong time of the market cycle. So really deploying capital at kind of peak pricing um, and then when the market conditions change, uh, they can they can struggle with with the debt or the the, the follow on capital requirements, which is uh, something that we are not struggling with. Again, having lived through cycles, we take a very conservative balance sheet first approach to how we run our business. And we we do have a, we're the only um, the only company in our space that has a diversified uh, business model where we actually have a data center business that isn't correlated to to Bitcoin directly, and we're really focusing on on building out uh, a completely different suite of offerings from anyone else in our space and in, in the world. Well, it's a comparatively nascent sector to a lot of other ones, and talking about trends is tough because they can be. It's not kind of a six month cycle, it's a week long cycle or something <laughs> like that. But in terms of trends that are going on at the moment or the plans that you have or initiatives to roll out for the next six or 12 months, what is exciting you at the moment? What are you guys focusing on? Uh, I, every, everything that we're seeing happening in the Web3 space, we, despite market conditions, we see a ton of capital coming in, really exciting projects being built out. Um, we're super excited to, to be here. We're partners with Enthusiast Gaming, uh, who they've recently launched a, a blockchain game, which, which we are super excited to be a part of and embedded within. Uh, you can actually get a HUD-8 skin in that game, which has performed really well. And so I think we're just getting started with the art of the possible as these worlds come together. What about the show itself? You've come to, like, this is some of our first physical events for a while, given the last two years and the circumstances. Are you here to talk to, like, potential clients? Are you rubbing shoulders with, like, people from similar companies and finding out additional info? Like, what, what's the angle? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's absolutely about finding potential new partnerships, potential uh, customers. As I say, our data center business is, is really purpose-built to support uh, projects in the gaming space, in the Web3 space. We, we can get very bespoke, very custom, which is difficult to find uh, in, a, in a traditional data center provider. So I think there's n nothing but opportunity as we, um, as we get out into the market with, uh, with, this new, with this new data center business. Well, hopefully you found a few more over the last two days. <laughs> I'm sure we have.